Hey there, and welcome to Dull Motion. The holidays are here. And to celebrate Christmas, we're going to make an axolotl. What do axolotls have to do with Christmas, you may ask? Well, absolutely nothing. But I'm still going to make one, with a Christmas theme. As you may recall, I made a pastel god axolotl about 7 months ago. Sadly, she was a giveaway doll, so I don't have her in my collection anymore. But I did ask for a name suggestion on Instagram, which became Joy Ambis by popular vote. Over time, I start designing this male axolotl character, Jeff Ambis, Joy's twin brother, a 25 year old axolotl guy with a god punk style. And he will be one of the main characters in the Divis spin off series, which makes him a love interest for Sabrina. Well, enough about that, let's make Jeffrey Ambus. If you saw the X Lotto pin in my previous YouTube repaint video, then you found the hint. And if you saw the blue horn owl figure, then you found the hint for Amy Avis. Her repaint video is now available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So good luck finding the hint for the next repaint video. For this custom, we're going to use this middle Obitsu body. It comes with a few extra hands and these rings. I got a few questions in the comments asking me what they are. So let me explain. With these, you can make the body a little bit taller. And I kind of like it for Jeff, so let's keep him tall. For Jeff's hat, we're going to use this Monster High boy, Deus Gorgon hat. Its snake hair is known for to be very difficult to get off. But this Deus kind of spared me the trouble. Not wanting to waste any doll parts, I'm saving it in my doll body part box for a future project. And it's not a doll motion project if you don't remove the ears. Speaking of the ears, these will be the last one to be added for this year. 2021 will have a new bottle. I don't think I can ever explain this to anyone. Anywho, his nose will also be removed, going for a Voldemort look. To remove the factory painted face, we use pure acetone. Axolotls have external gills. To make them on a doll, we use wires we poke through the head. And to secure them in place, we use a hot glue gun. Hmm, the torso joint is kind of wobbly. So let's take the body apart to replace the joint and give the body the correct color. The body won't be getting any bent legs, because axolotls are plenty graded animals. But the hands do need a shorter input, to make it easier for me to switch them out when I'm animating them. I think you already know the drill when you want to make a doll snowy white. You first have to start with a white primer. Give the body a few layers, and when that's dry, continue with a spray paint. I think I used about 6 layers in total. When that's dry, we can reconstruct the Obitsu body. And I gave him a new torso joint, taken from a spare Obitsu body. Now is also a good time to make a hole for his future tail. With pastel powders and a brush, we make the joints a more of a pinkish color. 
giving the body a translucent vibe. You know what a goth punk character is missing? Tattoos. And a lot of them. With a pencil I start sketching in the tattoos. You may recognize this character as one of my mascots, Ranger. In the Diva series, Rangers are actually the form souls take when taken from their body by Mortis Felis. But over time the meaning or truth about this creature was lost and it became a symbol used in the goth and punk culture in the Diva series. When everything is sketched out, we line the tattoos. Paint in the color. Then we gave it some shades and the white V's in the eyes. Well, I painted them myself, but I'm pretty happy how they turned out. To seal in the tattoos, we spray the whole body a couple of times with Mrs. Superclear. Let's work on his tail. Axolotls have an unusual tail, which is translucent with a core bit. To mimic this, we're going to use air drying foam. Great! Take out some kinetic sand or something that can hold the form and place a plastic bag over it. Tape it in place and push the tail halfway into the sand. Get yourself some mud patch and cover the tail, forming a leaf shape. After three layers of mud patch, flip the tail, giving it another three layers. Closing in the tail. Well, my first attempt came out a bit chunky, so I made a second one. Looking at the reference, trim the tail. And here we go, a translucent, flexible axolotl tail. Okay, let's switch back to the head. Always place the head on the body when working on face modifications. When placing the head back after doing the modifications, it will probably leave cracks in the clay. Just like his sister, Jeff is getting a bald look. Because amphibians in the Diva series don't grow any hair. So this character will be mainly bald in the series. But I still want him to wear a wig at work. To make a wig cap, cover the head with a plastic bag and a stretchy fabric matching the color of the hair. Hold it in place with an elastic band and give the cap a thick layer of mod podge or fabric glue. Wait for it to get dry and trim the cap. For the hair I'll be using black yarn. We bind it to a giant fly swatter and comb out the yarn. Clear to a plastic bag and make webs. And we let it rest for now, so we can continue with the hat. With paint, we color match the head with the body. 
To seal on the color and hide the brush strokes, we use matte varnish. When that's dry, we blush the head with pink pastel powders. Seal that in with a layer of Misty Super Clear. Misty Super Clear will give the face a great base to draw on a new face. And now I'm slowly painting in a new face. For a friend without any eyebrows, let's do the holiday tradition of answering a few of your questions. What's your favorite holiday? Definitely Christmas. What is one of your newest favorite doll repaints? I would say Gregory Shoes. I like his overall design, his powers and his personality. Why do you dye your doll bodies instead of painting, airbrushing them? Because the paint always chips away around the joints. So by dyeing the doll bodies, I give the joints the right color. Where do you live and how long have you been living there? I love your DV series. I am Dutch and I have lived in the Netherlands my whole life. And thank you for liking my DV series. Well, that was it for all the questions of the day. If you have a question, please leave them in the comment section. So I have some new ones for 2021. Back to the face up. Axolotls in real life have very small eyes. But of course, I gave him the biggest eyes I ever painted on a male doll. Oh well. Just like his twin sister, he's getting a sparkle in his eye. He may look a bit intimidating, but he's actually one of the most friendly characters in the series. Let's make the wig. The gills kinda make it impossible for the wig to stay on, so I'm using double sided tape. With a kit glue, I place the wefts on the cap, going in a spiral to the top. When you make it to the top, you will have a big bald spot. Make one super loose weft and glue it on the bald spot. I like to call this the anime look. With not having a part in the middle and the hair standing upright. Now the wig cap is drying, let's give Jeff gill rings. I do have to say the wig came out cool, but also derpy looking. Almost like a toupee. It could be the running joke, he has to wear it for work, knowing it looks terrible on him. <laughs> Speaking of work, because this doll didn't have too much body modifications, I had some extra time to give it a second outfit. So Jeff's getting a work and a casual look. That means a lot of loose patterns. So it's smart to keep them organized so you won't lose any. Let's start with the casual look. Jeff's outfits and overall look are mainly based on the male characters from the manga and anime series Nana. So that means a lot of spikes, leather and chains. I do have some miniature spikes but I also found this in the craft store. I love the studs, but the fake leather isn't the right color. So, well, we can always dye it. Here we go. Now it's the right color. Continuing with the casual look, let's start with the shorts. And yes, they have real pockets. I also gave it the belt and chain. He will also be getting a white shirt. But what image shall we choose for the front? Let's use Minato. I think it will look great together with just the twos. And of course he needs more spikes.
The jacket you see here wasn't made by me. It didn't really fit any of my characters, but I think with some alternations, it will fit Jeff just perfect. I also made Jeff a pair of socks. But he needs some shoes. Looking through my male shoe box, yeah, these will be great. A pair for the casual and work look. But the yellow has to be black. And now for the office look. Yeah, he may be at work, but he can still be a goth. His shirt will be a great match with his tattoos and gills. And the rest of his suit will be black. Oh, by the way, did you know Fulpini is Jeff's boss? Yeah, it'll be explained later on in the series. My first try making the blazer, it turned out too short. The second one was perfect, but it got stained with glue. Yeah, I didn't really have it in me to make a third one. Maybe I'll make a new one in the future, but for now... We're just going to pose the doll so you don't see it. An axolotl is not complete without the pink fluffy bits on the gills. By cutting up sewing thread in teeny tiny pieces, we're going to mimic this by gluing them one by one on the gills. and a small trim to make them even. For a more lively look, I'm going to give Jeff a bit of gloss on his lips and lower waterline. His tail can also be secured to his body with a two-part epoxy glue. So, in the end we made, well, the doll, a business or office look, and a god punk casual look. And with this, the doll is done! I really like how Jeff turned out. I finally have an axolotl I can keep for myself. And I like that I'm adding a bald character to the series. Like I already mentioned, Jeff will be the main character in the Divas spin-off series. This series will take place in the same storyline, but from a different view. This series is also for an older audience because they will discuss themes not suitable for YouTube. And the first episode is now available on Patreon and YouTube membership. 
together with Amu Avis, the first ever Dose repaint. So go and check them out if you like to watch these videos or to support the channel. Or not, it's really your choice. But I still want to thank my amazing patrons of honor. Chelsea Panda Monkey, Art Weasel Customs, Red Demon 990, Manading Dreams, Cat Vanity, Mystery Wolf, Painted by Picasso, Kei Namaru, and everyone else on Patreon and YouTube membership. Thank you guys for making this channel possible. You are all so amazing. Well, that was it for the end of this repaint video. But I still have one video left for 2020 next week. Thank you for watching and have a great day celebrating the holidays. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. Yes, God X Lottos are a Christmas tradition now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!